soldiers. Soldiers everywhere. They turn our holy site into a slave camp. Get out of here while you still can. Dominion soldiers. They're led by General Indare, the jail butcher of Cormant. They forced us to dig for them, to uproot the soil. They're looking for something buried deep in the ground. One of the soldiers called it Rachin's Mantle. My friend Braylor seemed really concerned. He asked me to go to Elden Root and warn the Major's Guild. I've never seen him so worried. Braylor is near those glowing stones. Be careful!
You aren't with the pilgrims, are you? Then perhaps you can be of assistance. General Endare scours this place for Rajin's mantle, but the relic must be kept from her hands. Either she misunderstands the dangers, or she thinks they don't apply to her. I'm concerned about its misuse. Unless you're prepared to handle them correctly, relics such as these can corrode you. I would tell General Endari myself, but I don't trust her intentions. Not after she pressed these pilgrims into service. Then she's in luck! I served the Eight Divines before joining the Mages Guild. I know what must be done to safely transport a relic such as Regine's mantle. We'll just need to find it before General Endari does. The Falinesti faithful believe the Welkin stones hold the memories of the walking city. Earlier, I heard soldiers speaking of the same stones. If you can see me past the Frost Trolls, perhaps we can see what the stones have to do with Rajin's mantle. Rajin is a Khajiit trickster god, also worshipped by thieves and deceivers. The Khajiit swap tales of Rajin's greatest pranks. It is said his seven shadows do his bidding throughout Tamriel. Yes, each shadow reflects a different aspect of Regine's personality and power. This could be a convenient metaphor, actual living shadows, or something else entirely. I have a theory, but until I can support it, speculation is less than useless. Perhaps the Welkin Stones will reveal more. Arms as tall as a person, an endless hunger, and jaws that can snap off a horse's leg in a single bite. Why am I afraid of frost trolls? The real question is why aren't you? A famous high elf general, or infamous, depending on who you ask. Her jade dragoons are well respected, but she has an aggressive reputation. Last I heard, she was in Haven. A very good question, which raises another. Regine's mantle is a Khajiit legend. Why does she seek it out in Grotwood, the home of the Wood Elf King? What could have brought it to the Falinesti winter site? Let's see what these stones reveal. Who are you? What brings you into my home? A simple thief of hearts, come to steal yours from this walking city. Steal my heart, or steal your loins. For your arrow looks a quiver. Such a lowly mouth can dine anywhere, a trait we both share. What service to our palates should we conjoin in feast? I am a married woman, so you must starve, unless you care to feast upon yourself.
General Indare can't have been interested in ancient dinner invitations. There must be more to see. I cannot sleep, and my husband will not wake. What cruel jest is this? Say the word of Lady Nerune. I will allow you to sleep in my bed. Scoundrel! You think to steal me from my husband? from the city I call home. I only stole your sleep, which I gifted to your husband. His inattention must make him harder to love. What would you know of love, monster? You have none of it, and you will have none of me. <laughs> your protests ring hollow, Lady Nerome. We shall see how much when I steal you away from husband and home.
thirsty faithful were forced to dig. We should speak of this. General Endari was certain she'd find Rajin's mantle beneath the Falinesti winter site. She made the Falinesti faithful dig for that frozen vault. It seems they have uncovered it. And it would certainly explain the frost trolls. Perhaps Kirtor can help. The Falinesti faithful aren't led by anyone, but after the soldiers arrived, he worked to keep tempers calm. He may know where to find the vault. Last I saw, he was in an encampment near the dig site. Mostly Falinesti faithful with a handful of soldiers. We should avoid the site itself. The frost trolls are down there. They're peaceful sorts. Most believe their faith will one day draw the walking city back from wherever it disappeared. You'd be better off asking them to explain their own delusion. I've noted it's not a religious experience for everybody. Some use the annual pilgrimage to hold a revel in Falinesti's honor. Any excuse to celebrate. Frost trolls in Gratwood? The world has gone mad! You travel with Braylor. He has proven himself a friend to the Falinesti faithful. There are questions written upon your faces. What is it you seek? As was General Andare. When our digging revealed existing tunnels, she pulled us back to our camp before taking her soldiers to the dig site below. 
Then the frost trolls emerged from the caves. They slaughtered most soldiers left behind. It seems you diverted a frost troll from one of her soldiers. Upon reaching safety, the knowledge you seek was passed to me. She was last seen in the northernmost cave at the dig site. She pressed us into service in the search for Rachin's mantle. Initially, their treatment was harsh. But I spoke with her directly and proposed she take a lighter approach. In return, I would convince the fallen SD faithful to assist her efforts. Yes, she saw the wisdom in my words. A reasonable request earned a reasonable response. A true shame the rest of Tamriel doesn't work like that. Nesty Faithful didn't need us to wet nurse them. We'd be fighting alongside the rest of the Jade Dragoons. Why would they have us mine? They're soldiers. Shouldn't they be doing the digging? If they were doing the mining, even more of us would have died, I think. Are you another soldier? Come to loose trolls upon the Valenwood? How can so many know my name after all these years? Yes, I am Narame. I hope to stem the tide of frost trolls by sealing their egress. But ice is the only form I may take beyond the walls of my prison. Tell me why you are here. You are not the first. General Endare broke through to my prison in search of the same. I will aid you in seeking Regine's mantle, but only if you swear to free me. Regine's mantle is the key to my prison beneath the fallen SD winter site. If I but touch its hem, it will steal all my hatred for Regine's shadow and fill the void with love. I'll make loot strings of his innards first. Only another may safely free me. A cruel and spiteful jest. 
to show me I was powerless in his clutches. Worse, to kindle hope my husband would come to free me, then smother that hope with his continued absence. But Rajin's shadow knows nothing of love. I did not waver, not once. There is another cave, sealed by a frost-covered door. It leads to my prison. If you swear to free me, I will allow you inside to speak of Regine's mantle. I was delighted to speak with another after so long, but once inside, she ignored me entirely. Then in her haste to find Regine's mantle, she loosed the frost trolls. Regine's shadow suspended them in my prison to guard against invaders. It seems they had never before sucked on the flesh of men or myrrh. But once they did, it was a terrible frenzy. General Indari spoke of it being the second era. It seems I was trapped here in the first. There. Come. Let us speak of the man. My prison holds me in complete solitude for centuries, yet two visitors arrive on the same day. But we have little time. General Andari has pushed deeper into the prison. Take this ring. It's my wedding band. It's the one thing I hold dear in this wretched place. Should you bring it to the inner vault, I can join you in icy form. I'll warn you of the dangers and aid you against them. You swore you would free me! Forgive me. The promise of freedom ruins my manners. You should do what you must, and what you are willing. I will not press you to betray who you are, not on my account. I was no mage when Rajin's shadow first stole me from Volanesti. But I've studied every inch of this icy prison. With effort, I learned to sap away its energy. It's what allows me to form the icy construct, as we first met. Direct my wedding band at any foe. I can use it as a focus to freeze your enemies for a short time. Very little, unfortunately. It may be a divine piece of the god Rajin, gifted to his shadow. Why he would squander it upon me is beyond my comprehension. Why would anyone want a piece of the trickster god? The answer is usually power. 
But for what purpose, I cannot say. I was no mage when Rajin's shadow first stole me from Fallen. Direct my wedding band. I've been trapped here for so long. To feel the sun upon my face again. Just to think of its indulgence. I know little of use beyond the walls of this prison, but I'll answer what I can. Very little, unfortunately. Why would anyone want... I've been trapped here for so long. General Andari's soldiers were no match for the inner vault. Step carefully.
take it from me! Who are you? And why are you dragging that Frost Witch behind you? Out with it! You? I'm a decorated general of the Aldmeri Dominion, a hero to my people. Who better qualified to wield the power of a god? But... I found Rajin's mantle. Why should Queen Irene be the one to wear it? I've been fighting since before she was born. No. You're trying to trick me. Trick the trickster god, huh? I can see through your lies. I won't give it to you or anyone. You'll fall to Rajin's shadow. You cannot survive Rajin's shadow. believe my eyes you hold it in your hands now to break my bonds from this horrid prison removing Regine's mantle from the inner vault weakened the magic of the prison now you must break it once and for all Regine's mantle is a slippery thing especially with enchantments that bind its bearer place it upon the brazier at the heart of this room and it will smother the curse upon me have no fear. The relic will come to no harm. Soon I'll leave this place and return to my home. I'd nearly lost all hope. Lady Nerume. You denied my love, and now I deny your journey home. If you beg my forgiveness, convincingly, I'll return the working city from where I stole it. What? Could that filth spirit away all of Fallen Esty? He took the walking city? He took my home? Or is this another of his lies? What else can I do but seek my home? But everything is so different now. General Indari mentioned an old Mary Dominion, yet I don't know what that means. Without someone to guide me, I may as well prostrate myself before Regine's shadow. 
Truly? Then I must find this Braylor and see what he knows of Fallen Esti. I should seek him out and see the sky again with my own eyes. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but you're alive! We heard some terrible noises in the caves below. What happened? And you freed Lady Nerume! She's quite agreeable, and could prove to be a living repository of knowledge regarding the walking city. I hope General Endare didn't give you any trouble. You see, I don't know why she did all of this, but she was once a hero. I can't imagine her soldiers would take it well. But as you see, such relics are dangerous. I can deliver it to the Elden Root Majors Guild where its powers can be contained. I'll alert the Ultima Embassy when I've returned to Elden Root. Once I have it at the Majors Guild, I'll see if I can discern a safer way to handle it during her ratification ceremony. Excellent. I can't bear to think of the outcome had you not been here. But no matter, Lady Nerume and I will return to Elden Root as soon as it's safe. If you hear anything of Fallen Esty in your travels, please send word to Braylor. I expect I'll be traveling with him for quite some time. After all, I am quite adept at driving off the Frost Trolls. <laughs> 